Hello. Today we are going to make two colored variety of edging. Let's call it edging number seven to colored. I've tried it on several articles. Here you can see two of them. For making this kind of etching we have to weave the last row in contrast color in the technique of rope of three tubes. For this I have replaced two brown tubes with yellow ones and I have added one additional tube. So we lead the tube in front of two behind the third one, in front of two behind the third one, in front of two behind the third one. Look, in front of two, behind the third one. It is what three tube rope is. And continue further automatically. Sometimes to add volume to the rope, it can be made of four tubes. It makes the braid still more volumetric. This kind of ropes from three or four tubes is usually made to separate one pattern from another while weaving. They are rarely used in pure form because they are not economic as for amount of tubes used. But for the purpose of making a kind of barrier they are very convenient. Lengthen the tubes and continue. In front of two, behind the third one. In front of two, behind the third one. <coughs> this, this place of connection of tubes is not very good because it happens on the front side. Let's try to make it different. To hide the joint. This way it will be better. Behind the third one. And this way up to the end of the row. When we reach the end of the row, we hide all the three tubes inside very carefully. I have hidden two ones following the pattern and I hide the last one carefully, compliant with the pattern as well. I will cut it later. That's all, we've got such a three tube rope. Our next actions. Let's soften the tubes a bit. And now we have to pass two tubes and to insert this one over the second tube either with the help of a knitting needle or with the help of a skewer under our yellow rope. Take the next tube, turn the next two poles round with it, and pull it through with the help of a knitting needle. My tubes are a little too dry. One can soften them a little. This type of region presupposes multiple bending and inserting of tubes, which leads to hurting them. But I like this type very much, so I am ready to take some efforts. And this way up to the very end. Over two and under the three tube rope. Very, very carefully. We are getting such a row on top. 
It is one of the simplest types of edging, but it looks very nice. Try to avoid breaking the tubes, not to paint them afterwards. These tubes have been painted with color and priming. And they have been made uh, rather long ago, that's why they are somewhat dry. So we've laid all the tubes outside. Now the next stage. Take the tube and above two next ones lead it over the second one under our three tube rope. Pull it a little, take the next one above two. Here there is a gap as if meant for inserting it. Above two over the second one. Above two over the second one. Pull it above two over the second one and this way up to the very end of the row. So finished. Insert the last tubes. Here. That's all. Everything corresponds to the pattern. We insert the tube right under the three tube rope. We don't calculate anything specifically. As a result, we've got such a rather decorative edging. The remainders of the rope are hidden deeply underneath. Everything gets cut easily and hold well. You can cut even tighter. And after you varnish the article, it will fix perfectly. 